Batman vs. Miles Morales isn't even close. Batman is at the peak of human everything. He knows every martial art and he can dodge the aim of bullets, which means he does get shot sometimes, but he's very strong. He can resist the force of a jet engine, unlike Syndrome, was able to break a damaged pillar, ripped an airplane door off its hinges, flips a speeding car using his grappling hook, caught on held a concrete pillar. He was also getting cooked by Talon, but he was still able to throw him through a wall twice. He slammed Ra's al Ghul into concrete like he was putting him in time out, did kind of the same thing with Joker and Croc, breaks a gun in half with just his grip, defeat a robot with no gadgets, no skill, just straight gas. He knocked out a guy by breaking down a metal door with his bare hands. And he doesn't even need to be doing that much because he has roughly 130 gadgets in his belt. One of them's a lollipop, so they're not all as crazy as a large explosive that can destroy a big ice monster. He also has hardening foam that has stopped Jokerized humans in their place. He has mini drones and he also has his portable crime retelling thing, like in the games. He has batarangs, obviously, acid ones as well. Bat snacks. His grapple hook easily shoots through Freeze's gun, which left my boy shook up. He also has smoke grenades, freeze grenades, and a flamethrower, as well as a mini explosive that can take down a drone, a knockout dart which took down Croc, knockout gas which can cover a large radius. Radius, fire bombs, flame fists, he has electric fists that will shock people when they come close to them, a shot grenade that's KO'd a crowd of humans, also Batman's gone through things that other people would die from, he survived a fall from atmosphere, took a beating from an enhanced bane, bro just sat there and took it, he's also been thrown through a building and still holding onto his grappling hook, he's taken a hit from Clayface which sent him through a wall, and bro looked fine. His armor took 6,000 watts of current, and for reference, anything above 50 amps would kill a regular human. His cape can also tank Firefly's flamethrower. He can tank a direct shot from Mr. Freeze. After being hit by a bazooka, kind of, they don't really show it, and stepped on a landmine, he was still charging after the Joker. And his mind is far beyond his body, because he's one of the smartest people on Earth. He found a cure for the Doomsday Virus, and he has been stated to have one of the best strategic minds in existence. But how would he do against Miles Morales, who has superhuman abilities and strength? He's easily thrown a car and a shipping container in a fight. He's kicked a scroll 20 feet into a car and easily laid out another one and wrapped him in metal. He's effortlessly ripped a gas pipe open like it's a stick of celery. He lifts up large pieces of rubble like he's lost his vape. He's ripped a safe out of a concrete wall. Let me say that again. Concrete wall? And he punched through the same safe. He's punched Ultimate Goblin through multiple walls, then kicked him through a construction yard. And bro did not like that. Hit Goblin hard enough to make him leave a dent in the ground. And Miles can take a lot of damage. He's taken a hit from Rhino which tore up the ground and then took another. He was punched through a wall by Gobby and then Gobby wasn't done there. He later smashed Miles' head through concrete. He's been thrown through a brick building and came back for more. He's taken a heat blast that melted Iron Man's armor, but he kind of was using Iron Man as a shield, so I don't know if you want to count that. But he was the first to recover from it. He's also taken a hit directly from Rhino's horn and it didn't even cut him. You can take being thrown through the air and into a car by Galactus, I think, takes an energy blast from Vision and has also taken blasts that would knock out Falcon America. He's been hit by two heat-seeking missiles and been fine right after. And not to mention both him and Peter have to move their heads when they get punched or else they shatter the other guy's fists because how durable and strong the Spider-Men are. He can also take being shot. He usually dodges the bullets with ease because of his spider sense. And he can also turn invisible for as long as he wants, I think. I've never seen him try to be invisible for a long amount of time. And not to mention how ridiculously strong his webs are. They can catch bullets. They can blind people. Binder. They can also wrap fire. His webs have stopped a speeding semi-truck. They can also hold multiple moving cars and buses. They've also stopped a falling truck. Now let's talk about how insane Mars' venom powers are. He's one-shot armadillo who easily took a card to the face. He can also perform a venom blast which has knocked out a room full of ninjas. His venom can go through his webs, knocking out an unaware Spider-Man. They can be shot long distances like a beam and create a chain hit. They can conduct through the ground and fry and destroy an android and take out Rhino's electronics. They've knocked out Omega Red and Ultimate Scorpion and one tiny zap defeated Venom and one tapped Ultimate Electro who is pure energy. Knocked out Fing Fang Foom and if you know who that is, that's a big dumb dragon from Superhero Squad. Now if Batman and Mars Morales fought, I'm gonna do prep time right after this. Also could you guys please help me get to 400 subs, I'm so close. But if they fought, I would say it goes straight to Miles. And there is a couple reasons. Miles just needs to hit him once with a Venom Strike, preferably right here, because if he can take down these guys, Batman won't be a problem. Also he could not use his Venom and dodge Batman's attack attacks and web up his gadgets and just beat him. His invisibility and webbing would just carry him throughout this fight. But if Batman had prep time, I would give it to Miles again, mostly because he could web up Batman right away. Also, you should definitely check out my other Versus videos or my Batman videos.